it was win or go home for the 9 and 10 Hopkinton Hillers boys and a TVL title on the line for the 19 and 2 Westwood Wolverines. And both teams laid everything on the line. Zarabusco rolls in. So the Hills jump out to a 3 0 lead. If you get Connor hot, inside it goes to Odell. There's Zizitsky open for three. The left hander buries a three pointer. Now Rector with it goes inside the canal. Nice pass. Good put, put up and in. Stop. You keep giving it to him, too, right? Absolutely. And there's a pull up jumper by Fitzgibbon who makes it. Zizitsky dribbling. Now goes to inside to Odell. Odell puts it up off glass and in. Giovino now. Offenses have ta settled down a little bit. There's an air ball. Now Giovino gets the air ball and puts it in. Now. So the first half comes to an end with the Hillers trailing by five. Is they going to get it back? Ten seconds on the shot clock. His three ball by Zarabusco. And he hits it. Being guarded by Giovino. Zitsky with it. Up top to Canal. Canal inside to Odell. Odell. Puts it up, and he's blocked, but he gets it back, puts it up, and he's fouled. That is a big end one there. Reed Wilson now gives it to Giovino, gets it back. Here's a three ball by Wilson. He goes in, wow. out, in for the three. That was quite a sequence. Bemis. Bemis gets it back, puts up a right-hander, and he drops it in. Hill is down 10 now. Side good tip and it's taken away by Corby. He's almost fouled there. Now Zarapusco races up court. He drives, puts up a left hander, it drops in, goes down six. Cross court it goes. Down on the baseline to Linehan. There's a travel and so a turnover for the Wolverines. Hillers can tie the game. Corby gets it, throws it up to Adams. Adams gets over, easily drives. Puts on the brakes back to Corby and gets it off the floor. Now Sarapusco goes inside the canal. He's double teamed, puts it up off the rim, and it's good. Court line. And he puts on the brakes back to Corby. Sarapusco for three. It's good. Nick Canal and Connor Sarapusco get the crowd on their feet as the Hillers take a three point lead right at the start of the fourth quarter. And then Hillers up five. Nick Canal does it again from the low post. Inside it goes to Adams. Turnaround jumpers off glass and good. Cross court to Canal. Canal looking to drive. Puts up a right hander and it's good. Bemis looking to set up inside. Here's Wilson with the ball. Wilson pull up jumper is good. Timeout on the court. With 55 seconds to go. Hillers lead by two. It's for Sarapusco. And he makes, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Jinx him the other way, right? That's right. <laughs> and Sarapusco trying to make one of two, and that time he drops it through. Hillers by three. That's a big one. For help now as he's being pressured. Making Bottoms throws it up court, he gets it over. Nick Canal not only came up huge offensively, but came up huge defensively. He gets a hand on the ball here on this attempted pass. Jimmy Adams chases it down and loses two defenders to draw up the foul. Yeah, Higginbottom is right in the area. And Adams just sniped it away from him. That was a huge, huge play. And it goes to Adams. He loses it. Oh boy. Humper, it is no good. Rebound, and it's thrown out of bounds with 19.3 seconds to go. After the game-saving play for Westwood by Aiden Fitzgibbons, Devontae Higginbottom puts Westwood within one point, then with less than 10 seconds left on the ensuing possession, Connor Sarapusco is fouled off the inbound and sent to the line. His father, I can see him in the stands, is not looking. <laughs> Connor misses the first. And the second free throw is good. So only a three can beat the Hillers. And so with four seconds to go, the Hillers up by two. It does get inbounds. Here's a three ball, and it is no good. And Hopkinton is going to go to the tournament.
The Hopkinton Hillers hang on for the 63 to 61 victory and they are going back to the tournament. Nick Canal was a beast from the low post, putting up 25 points overall. Connor Sarapusco chipped in with 16 points. The Hillers boys finished the regular season 10 and 10. The Hillers girls lost to Westwood at home 66 to 39, but they are also tournament bound as they finish the regular season 14 and 6.